How's it going, folks? Well, chapter 40 was a little bit more intoxicating than I expected. Chapter 41 has nothing to drink to. Nothing highlighted, anyway. And it's just more of Alma Jr. bitching out his boy, uh, Corey Anton. So let's go ahead and blast this out. Besides, I got a little beer left. No drinks, but I think I've had enough. Alma to Corey Anton continued. What restoration signifies? Men to be judged according to their deeds and desires. So you may as well do them. If you desire something, better do it. You're already guilty. Nice to know. Thanks. Self-judgment. I'm all about that. It's a process I use myself. People can judge me all I want, but I judge myself. First one. And now, my son. I have somewhat to say concerning the restoration of which has been spoken. For behold, some have rest, rested the scriptures and have gone far astray because of this thing. And I perceive that they... I, and I perceive that thy mind has been worried also concerning this thing. But, behold, I will explain it unto thee. Two. I say unto thee, my son, that the plan of restoration is requisite with the justice of God. For it is requisite that all things should be restored to their proper order. I should have done a requisite drinking game. Didn't think of that. Behold, it is requisite. Oh shit, that would have been devastating. <laughs> and just according to the power and resurrection of Christ that the soul of man be restored to its body, and that every part of every body should be restored to itself. See, I mean, they guaranteed it in a gold book, so. It's what you wanted. You, you, you wish it was true. You want it to be true. So, there you go. I guess that's good enough for some folks. Three. It is it is and it is requisite with the justice of God that men should be judged according to their works. And if their works were good in this life the desires of their hearts were good that they should also, at the last day, be restored unto that which is good. And if their works are evil, they shall be restored unto them for evil. And this is before the resurrection, right? I think. Therefore, all things shall be restored to their proper order. Or is this the resurrection? I'm getting confused because they're talking about the space between for a while. <laughs> and I got lost. <laughs> Therefore, all things shall be. This is verse 4. Therefore, all things shall be restored to their proper order and everything to its natural frame. Mortality raised to immortality, corruption to incorruption, raised to endless happiness to inherit the kingdom of God, or to endless 
misery to inherit the kingdom of the devil. The, the one on one hand, the other on the other. Really? Kind of makes sense. In a oxymormon kind of way. Five. The one raised to happiness according to his desires of happiness. You better think happy thoughts. You might be happy forever. I guess. Or good according to the desires of good. And the other to evil unto his desires of evil. Sounds kind of... Uh, A little black and white here, don't it? Oh, that's right. Excuse me. I forgot which book I'm reading. For his, he has desired to do evil all the day long. Even so, he, he shall have, even so shall he have his reward of evil when the night cometh. We're all scared of the dark, right? Six. And so, it is on the other hand. If he hath repented of his sins... Oh, I thought that was on the one hand. And the bad guys were on the other. I got confused. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, wait, we're on the other hand, though. Okay. This one. Not this one. <laughs> and so it is on the other hand, this one. <laughs> if he hath repented of his sins and desired righteousness unto the end of his days... Even so, he shall be rewarded to righteousness after he's dead. Honestly. Nobody's complained yet. Nobody's asked for a refund. Seven. These are they that are redeemed of the Lord. Yea, these are they that are taken out, that are delivered from that endless night of darkness. It seems to scare you so much. <laughs> and thus they stand or fall, for behold, they are their own judges. Cool. Pass. Innocent. <laughs> Whether to do good or evil. Exactly. So what do we need you, gold book motherfucking guys? Why do we need you, gold book guys? Eight. Now, the decrees of God are unalterable. So what do we need you for? Therefore, the way is prepared that Whosoever may walk therein and be saved. Nine. And now, behold, my son, do not risk one more offense against your God upon these points of doctrine, which ye have hitherto risked to commit sin with an whore. Shame on you. Ten. Do not suppose, because it has been spoken according to restoration, that ye shall be restored from sin to happiness. Ain't gonna happen. Not in our, the rules of our imaginary Dungeons and Dragons kind of place. You only get to play after you're dead. 
Or you can spend your whole life playing it, and then play it after you're dead. If you're doing anything after you're dead. So being dead. Bummer, huh? <laughs> Behold, I say unto you, wickedness never was happiness. Depends on what you say is wicked. Eleven. And now, my son, all men that are in a state of nature, or I would say in a carnal state, are in the gall of bitterness and in the bonds of iniquity and are hang on without God in the world. Bummer. Not really. <laughs> and they have gone contrary to the nature of God. Which one? Therefore, they are in a state contrary to the nature of happiness. Actually, I've been feeling pretty happy these days. Well, I, I get down once in a while, but I'm feeling all right right now. <laughs> Have been for quite a while. All right. Twelve. And now behold... Is the meaning of the word restoration to take a thing of a natural state and place it in an unnatural state? Or to place it in a state opposite of its nature? So, in a supernatural state, you're going to be natural. Just supernatural. Sounds cool. Thirteen. Hang on. Uh, Thirteen. Oh, my son. This is not the case. But the meaning of the word restoration is to bring back again evil for evil. Or carnal for carnal carnal or devilish for devilish good for that which is good righteous for that which is righteous I guess all these things are like subdivided somehow they should have put a chart in here or something you know like a scale of measurement perhaps Righteousness for that which is righteous, just for that which is just, which is apparently a little below righteous. Merciful for that which is merciful. I guess that would be me. Kind of far down there, ain't it? Fuck you, verse 13. I'm better than that, god damn it. Therefore, my son, see that ye are merciful unto your brethren. Deal justly. Judge righteously. And do continually. And if ye do all these things, then Shall ye receive your reward after you're dead? Yay! Ye shall have mercy restored unto you again. Ye shall have justice restored unto you again. Ye shall have righteous judgment restored unto you again. And ye shall have good rewarded unto you again. Fifteen. For that which ye do send out shall return unto you. Bumper sticker, baby.
<laughs> this is dangerous drinking while you're like For that which ye do send out shall return unto you again, and be restored. Therefore, the word restoration more fully condemneth the sinner, and justifieth him not at all. I think I'm done. Uh, that's it for tonight. <laughs> Two videos, that's enough. I think the next one has drinks. With <laughs> I hope you'll watch. Peace. <laughs> the fuck. Out. Have a wonderful... Whatever the fuck it is you're